Uh, but uh, the message is important. I found something really interesting. When I go out and give talks about the changing diversity of the country, and I forget who mentioned it, but actually the date now is 2043. The country will become majority people of color. About 10 years before that, which is really important, the majority of the workforce will be people of color, which is so by 2032, 2033, the majority of the workforce. By 2019, 2020, the majority of youth, people in the age of 18, will be people of color. And when I talk about that, there's two people, two sets of people who are really excited. One are, you know, people of color, like, whoa, whoopee, right? We're going to be a majority, woohoo. Or people who kind of think about that for political mobilization. But the second group is business people. Because business people have much more of an attitude of new workers, new consumers, what are we going to have to do to adjust? And one of the things I think has been kind of a challenge in the past is that people who are mostly concerned with diversity have thought about it in terms of sort of, you know, human relations and then soft skills and people being nice to each other rather than as being a business imperative which my sense is that a lot of people in this audience really get. So business is particularly interested because the changing demography of the country means a couple of different things. It means certainly different markets that are going to be out there that you're going to have to uh, nuance and understand. It means a different set of employees whose needs are going to need to be addressed. And it also means a different set of employees are going to be coming in with all sorts of other issues that uh, haven't always been addressed in the past. So